Greetings guys, today I will be going through a quick history of Java, the most popular programming language in the world, or is always at least in the top 2 or 3. It would be interesting for anyone learning Java to know a little history of Java and its evolution over the years. The evolution of the Java spans several decades and involves the contributions of numerous individuals and organizations. The story of Java begins at Sun Microsystems in the early 90s. A team of engineers including James Gosling, Mike Sheridan and Patrick Naughton initiated a project called Green Project to address some unique challenges associated with programming for consumer electronic devices and embedded systems in the early 90s. Basically to provide a platform independent and secure programming language to use in various consumer electronics such as remote controls, cell phones, microwaves, etc., since these devices use a variety of processors. As the Internet gained prominence in the mid-90s, the focus of the project shifted towards creating a language suitable for Internet programming, and it was later adapted to address the needs of Internet-centric applications. Oak was subsequently renamed as Java. James Gosling is often referred to as the father of Java for his key role in the creation and shaping the design principles of Java. Hello, I'm James Gosling, and this is a Star 7. Star 7s were built as part of the Green Project at Sun Laboratories between 1991 and 1992. These are a prototype sort of handheld device that was built to do some exploration of some issues into consumer electronics. Now let's talk about the main design principles that guided the development of Java. These principles laid the foundation for Java's development and contributed to its success. The first principle, it must be simple, object-oriented, and familiar. Java's syntax shares similarities with C and C++, making it accessible to a broad audience. This design choice aimed to make Java a language that is both powerful, easy to learn, and at the same time object-oriented. The second principle, it must be robust and secure. Designed to ensure robustness and built-in security features to address concerns related to executing code from untrusted sources. The third principle, it must be architecture neutral and portable. To develop a programming language that allows code to run on any device or platform without modification or recompilation. Fourth principle, it must execute with high performance. Focus on performance to ensure that Java programs can execute with efficiency and speed. Support concurrent programming by providing built-in features for multithreading. The fifth principle, it must be interpreted, threaded, and dynamic. Basically emphasizing on interpretability flexibility, ability to handle concurrent and dynamic programming. Java source code is compiled into an intermediate bytecode, not directly into machine code. Java has built-in support for multithreading, allowing concurrent execution of multiple threads. Java exhibits dynamic behavior through features like dynamic method dispatch, reflection, and dynamic class loading. Write once, run anywhere philosophy is the main slogan for Java. It enabled developers to write code once and run it on any platform without the need for recompilation. The War of Philosophy became a central tenet of Java. This feature was crucial for Java's success, especially in the context of Internet programming. Millions and billions of desktops, devices around the world run on Java, mainly because of this platform-independent nature. It can run on any platform. You named it Windows, Linux, Mac, Android, and many more. Initially, the language was named as Oak after the tree. That stood just outside James Gosling's office. Oak was renamed as Java in 1994 after a trademark conflict with the Oak technology. What led to those names? Let's hear from James Gosling himself. It was initially named Oak. That was another one of those sort of lazy things. Um, I had just been, I had just figured out that I had to do this. And so I was like sitting at my desk, looking out the window, there was an oak tree. 
and I was literally typing make deer and I needed a name for the directory to start putting stuff. <laughs> um, that was outside my window. I just went with it. You know, it's one of these things that doesn't really have a good story. <laughs> um, and, you know, at the, at the time when we were, you know, you know, sort of trying to pick a name, and we had a bunch of people just sort of yelling random words. And, you know, there was a person who was, who was sort of yelling, so how does this make you feel excited? What other thing things make you excited? You know, it's like one of the words was Java. Yeah. You know, because, you know, in, in English, Java is a word that means not just coffee, but it's, it's kind of, you know, the sort of beatnik coffee shop, laid back kind of thing. Um, and, you know, that appealed to people. Um, so we ended up going with that. Java has gone through several major versions each introducing new features, improvements, and updates. Since Java version 9, it started releasing every six months. Long-term support LTS versions are designated every three years. These LTS releases receive extended support and updates, making them suitable for stable and long-term use in production environments. The LTS releases so far are Java 8, Java 11, Java 17, and Java 21. Oracle has continued to lead the development and evolution of Java, overseeing major releases and updates since they acquired Sun Microsystems in 2010. Java has a rich history of involvement from various organizations, both in its development and in the broader Java ecosystem. A summary of all Java versions released so far is presented here. Let's have a look. The future of Java looks promising and the language continues to be a cornerstone of enterprise and application development. Several factors contribute to Java's ongoing relevance and potential for the future. Adoption and ecosystem. Versatility and platform independence. Continued innovation. Open JDK and community involvement. Long-term support LTS releases. Java in the cloud. Mobile and IoT development language features and project Valhalla, integration with modern technologies, educational value. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.